Hey, Joe, I hope you're doing well. Um, I wanted to ask, as um, you kind of moved past the last uh, Sunday's outing and kind of focus on, on the season finale, if, if there's one thing that you really want to clean up and kind of focus on and, and improve on as you wrap up the season, what, what would that be? I would say just our operation offensively. Uh, we haven't been consistent. Um, and I would say just the consistency of that. David? Hey, so I know it's tough coming off a, a rough game and still having one game left, but how would you evaluate the way this sophomore NFL season has gone for you? Obviously, it didn't go the way that I uh, you know, wanted it to go. It didn't go the way that our team wanted it to go. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's tough when you, you have an opportunity and you don't capitalize on that opportunity. So I mean, it's tough. The other thing I wanted to ask you, when the trade deadline came and went, it obviously meant these last two months of the season were yours. Now that it all but came and went, uh, do you wonder if those trade conversations for another QB may come back up this offseason? No, and I'm not worried about that. If it comes up, it comes up. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Right. Yeah, thank you. David yeah, Mike? So, Tua, what can you take from a game like last week in terms of, you know, big game down the stretch, you know, moving forward with your career, you're going to have a lot of big games down the stretch. So what can you take from that experience that you can go, okay, that I can learn from that about this type of important game? Yeah, I think all the games uh, that we play are important for us as a team. Uh, we don't just look at one in particular. Uh, we do look at the mistakes that we've made after every game that we've played and see what we can fix to help us become successful for the next game so we don't make those same mistakes. I think I think for me, it's trying to be able to simulate kind of the cold weather scenario and trying to throw a ball while it's wet at the same time, you know, in, in, cold, in cold weather. You know, a lot of the, the good teams are cold weather teams as well. So, um, you know, I, I think that's something uh, to take into consideration this off season, you know, for myself, probably go go visit my brother or uh, you know take a trip somewhere that's that's code and kind of get get the feel of, of that so and one one more one quick one um, just this season there's been so many ups and downs and there's just so much going on around the season I'm curious has it been a fun season for you just everything you know you know in totality yeah I would say it, it has been a fun season uh, just being able to go through the ups and downs with, you know, the guys that we have on our team, um, you know, just us continuing to believe in each other while things weren't going right. And then when things were going right, um, you know, that that's that's kind of why why we're in this industry and why we do what we do because of the feeling of when you do win, you know, and when you do accomplish what you want to accomplish, you know, it's a it's a good feeling for for all of us. Thank you. Omar? Tua, I wanted to ask you, you talked about the consistency of the offense, and obviously you guys have struggled for the majority of the season offensively. What will it take for this offense to sort of get out of gear three and, and, and get to that next level outside of just consistency? Yeah, Is well, I, I think it for us, it, it starts with consistency. In order for us to, to get things going, I mean, we, we got to do the things – that we do really well, we got to do them good. And if we're not doing those good, then, you know, we, we can't really jump, jump shifts. We, we can't go from gear three to gear four to gear five, uh, you know, if we're making mistakes on one and two. So uh, that, that, that's, that's the whole uh, kind of belief with, with that, with our consistency offensively. Travis? Hey, Tua, good afternoon. Wanted to ask you about your opponent this week. You obviously saw them back in September. What have you kind of seen from them as they've gone from the, their first week edition of the Patriots to now in week 18 when you watch them on tape? Yeah, we, we always knew that they were a good team, well coached. Um, you know, I, I think they're, they, they kind of found their rhythm playing with each other. Uh, I mean, they, they have a good front. They have good backers. 
a good good overall team you know in all three phases so it's going to be a challenge and this you know to me this isn't the same team that we seen uh, in early September you know they look a lot more confident uh, so it's going to be a, a challenge for us if I could follow up real quick you know Belichick's mark against young quarterbacks or quarterbacks with minimal experience he's been pretty successful what do you think it is about the way they play defense that makes it harder on quarterbacks who haven't maybe seen as much football well, I think they force the quarterback to get the ball out of his hands quick. They force quick decisions. They don't give up big plays. They they want you to work for for your touchdown. So, if if it's a check down that works for ten yards, that's the kind of game that they want to play. I I think. And so it's a you know take what they give you, and when you have your shots, you got to take your shots when they arise. Great. Thanks, Tua. Hi, Tua. I wanted to ask you this weekend. You have a possibility of ending with a positive record like you did last year. What's the difference you think between the situation this year and what have you learned that is different from last year? Thank you. Uh, in terms of situation, I, I would say it's, it's very similar uh, in a way to last year, uh, just, just because we're not in, in the playoff race anymore. Um, but I, I would say our, our guys are still coming out to practice, still coming to work, um, you know, with a good frame of mind. So, you know, I, I think that's one of the most important things is everyone knowing that we got to finish this last game strong and uh, no one's really, you know, checked out yet. So. Al. Hi, Tua. Um, you know, we began the season trying to sort out what this offense's identity would be. Now that the season is winding down, how would you describe this offense's identity or has it developed one yet? Yeah, I think I think for us offensively, we we want to be able to establish the run, um, you know, to to set up a lot of our actions. We just want to be able to to control the, the game that way. Um, you know, some games were like that. Some games weren't. And I, I mean, I, I would say that that's kind of the identity that we tried to set as an offense is, uh, you know, just trying to be able to, to control the game. So, you know, some games we, we were able to and some games we weren't we weren't able to, to close it out. So that's how it is. All right. Last question, Marcel. Hey, Tua, uh, I wanted to ask you a question from uh, one of my, my coworkers who's working on a story about Jeff Allen. I'm uh, just curious what kind of relationship you have with Jeff, uh, what kind of relationship you had with Jeff down at Alabama. You know, like how much time did you guys spend together? What do you remember about him from your time um, down in Tuscaloosa? I had a really good relationship with uh, Jeff. Uh, Jeff's pretty, pretty much a legend there in Alabama. He's been there since a lot of the greats have have been there and, and you know, come through Alabama and then left, um, you know, very good guy. He's a family man, uh, very likable, very much respectable as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, he, he's obviously helped me with a lot because of the injuries that I've gone through at Alabama. So, you know, I have a lot of respect uh, for Jeff. Do you have like a, you know, a specific memory that comes to mind when when you hear Jeff's name or when you think about him? Uh, not necessarily just probably things that I'd, I'd like to keep in private. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Yeah.